live from Las Vegas. Fox 5 News This Morning starts right now. All right, time now, 8.39. You hear him every day. Oh, meet the man behind all the commercials on Fox. Animation Domination presents a quadruple feature that'll make you laugh so hard you're going to get abs of steel. What's going on, B minus? You may not know my face, but you've probably heard my voice. Sunday, it's an all new Simpsons on Fox. <laughs> nice view. <laughs> See my house. Homer needs a new name. Can I be Johnny Undercover? Because he's going inside the mob. You think an informant could get that close to me? I got in your gang and you barely know who I am. Now he's a made man. All right, that's him. Now meet the man behind that voice. You just heard Joe Cipriano has been a voiceover professional for more than 30 years. Now he's joining us live in studio with his new book, Living on Air, and also where you can meet him. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks, John. Listen to yeah. those golden Boy, 30 years? Uh, well, that went by like that. Well, it does look like you've been in it a day more than 30 days. So. <laughs> Thank you. So, right back at you. Let's, uh, let's start at the beginning. Uh -huh. where, where did you realize... Okay, your voice was a little different than most. Mm. Well, you know, when I first started off, uh, I was just a kid who mm. was interested in broadcasting. I was 14 years old and started hanging around the radio station in when my hometown. When did your voice start to change? Were you like actually, it took a while. You know, I got fired from a number of radio uh, jobs because uh, an executive somewhere said, I don't like that guy's voice. <laughs> you know, so I think you, you kind of, you know, you start to, to grow into that. I don't know where that executive is now, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But so, um, you know, uh, starting off in radio and then my voice started to change you know it's interesting watching you guys do the news when yeah. I was doing my top 40 show at 16 years of age I would have to do the news uh -huh. you know but I 16 it was during the Vietnam War in 1971 <laughs> I had no idea how to pronounce some of the yeah. names of these towns so when I would come up to that in the script I'd reach over and I'd turn the transmitter off the air <laughs> And then I'd flip it back on and I'd say, that's news, now let's look at weather. Well, you know, the trick, and I'm sure you know this, uh, <laughs> is if you don't know how to say it, just say it confidently. And exactly. People will, uh, Confidence so, will get you through. So were you like in third grade sounding like you were 35? or? <laughs> well, I, you know, I, uh, I, I came from a family with, it's a big Italian family with big, big, deep voices. Mm -hmm. And so I learned early on when all of my family would get together, if you want to be heard, you have to speak up and speak up loudly. So I think that's where it came from. So your book, Living on Air, yeah. it kind of chronicles your your whole time through going, starting from your teenager up till now. You meet kind I'll, of a lot of characters in radio and TV. I don't know if you'd noticed. I that. was going to ask you <laughs> what uh, what is the worst or oddest or weirdest thing you've had to voice over? Oh my gosh! Oh jeez! I mean, I, I have done some things that could never broadcast. You know, I, a lot of times I work a lot of international stuff too, uh -huh. and so game shows that were in other languages. It, no, always oh. in, in in English. So there will be some things that would not quite make it past uh, FCC rules and regulations. But, uh, you know, working at the networks, the most fun things that I've done, working at Fox and being able to do that, and then moving on to doing the Grammys live and the Emmys live. And, you know, that's exciting. Game shows I've done. And I happen to be the voice of Chef Morimoto on Iron Chef America. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, whenever he speaks, that's me, you know, talking. Yeah, now, about now yeah. I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> so how many people ask you to record their outgoing voicemail for them? You asked me just as we sat down, <laughs> and Stephanie hit me up uh, in the green room. So that's so, first two today. So is that a yes then? Yeah, I get actually, that I have my phone. And there. I'm oh, happy to do it. Yeah. Uh, so John can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> so what is there? Has there ever been something that Fox has given you over the years, yeah. like a name of a show or something that you're like, I, I can't. Well, see you know, this. With, <laughs> well, I, the funny thing is, The Simpsons, when it first first came on the air, uh, I was doing something. It's called Upfronts. It's mm -hmm. where they present all of the new shows. So nobody had really seen The Sim Simpsons show before, and I was introducing all of the cast members, and I came upon Dan Castellaneta, and I'm going, Castellaneta, <laughs> Castellaneta, Castellaneta, and it came up, and I go, and Dave Castellaneta, it's like. <laughs> It's Dan, Dan you yeah. you nailed the Castellaneta, I got the but it was the, the first yeah. part. Thing. Yeah. So for voiceover guys, is yeah. Don Pardo like the is he the the Godfather oh, of all yeah. this? Oh yeah, live from New York. Yeah. yeah, I talk about him in the book. I actually, when I was uh, 17 years old, I went to a game show in New York City at Rockefeller Center and sat right in front of Don Pardo and got to see him work. And when I saw him doing that, I said, I want to do that. that all right, running so cool. short on time, real quick. Mm -hmm. There's one thing that you haven't done yet that. You you could voice over, what would you want to do? Uh, Fox 5 Las Vegas. Well, 
I think we can arrange really? that. Okay. Uh, hey, the book is called Living on Air, Adventures in Broadcasting, and you are going to be available here in town. Yeah, Where we're having a big party. We are inviting all of your viewers. Everybody can come. Free food, lot of, uh, a, a lot of fun. I'll be reading excerpts live from the audio book with all of the sound effects and music live, and it's at the Claim Jumper on Apache uh, Saturday night at 6.30. All right, so Joe. So please come. Cipriano, thank you very much. And I'm <laughs> trying so. my hardest to make my voice sound That's deep right. around him. Yes. I want to sound like, but thank you for great stuff and thank congratulations you. and good thank luck with the book. Thank you very much. Right. Thanks uh, for having me. Steph? I'm not going to lie, I feel like I sound a little pitchy and like a 16 year old girl. I'm like a 16 year old girl around you. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about those radio and TV personalities, we're all narcissists around here. I mean, let's just be real. No, I'm just kidding.